right, as Rick mentioned, my name is Robert. I'm from the Hot Wheels team at Mattel. I did this last night, but I want to do it again. Let's give Mark and Jennifer a big round of applause for everything they've done this week. All our volunteers as well. So we're really excited to be up here to show you guys some of the upcoming models we have for 2016. So we're going to do it a little bit differently this time. I know before you would have a marketing person up here, they would click through the slides, and then we'd go straight to the Q&A. Um, being so close to El Segundo, I actually brought a team from Mattel with me. So we'll have the product team, we'll have some designers, packaging designers, so they'll give you a little more color around some of these upcoming models. And then especially when we get into the Q&A, they can answer some specific questions for you. So it should be pretty cool. Oh, yeah. All right, so real quick how this is going to work. I'll bring the panelists up in a minute and have them introduce themselves. We'll go through the models. They'll provide a little commentary on those. And then we'll get into the Q&A part. I think Rick's going to be running around uh, with a wireless mic, so get those questions ready. I wonder what they'll be about. Right? So you didn't think we'd get right into it without talking about the thing that everybody's thinking about, which is Hot Wheels Collectors.com. All right, so I'm just going to say a few things about this, and then, of course, we can talk about it in the Q&A as well. So first of all, we hear your frustration with the site. This thing was years in the making, so we're as frustrated as you are, if not more so. Um, we understand that Hot Wheels Collectors are a community, and so at its core, that website is supposed to be a tool for us to talk to you, for you to talk to us, and sell some pretty cool product in the process. So for this meeting place to not work like it's supposed to is unacceptable. Um, so we know there are issues, we're working on some short-term fixes on it, and also some longer-term solutions. The truth is we're seeing issues that we hadn't anticipated, and it's a work in progress, so you're seeing the site evolve in real time. So we thank you for your patience, and we know it's been a painful process, but I promise you it's something we're, we're working on every day. So I just want to talk about the three main issues that we've heard, and we can talk about other issues during Q&A if you want. Um, so first of all, it's the repeated login prompt. I know a lot of you are being asked to, to log in again and again and again. Um, this is something our web team is working on every single day. We suspect that it might be a user-specific thing. Um, so Gary has created discussions on the boards for members to report this problem. Um, so if you've had a problem, be sure to go to the forum and talk about it with Gary so we can get that figured out. Also, Okay, so we are going to start with main line and the cars that we will have in the basic line. Um, you are going to see some changes in the packaging in 2016, so they should be out anytime now in the stores next one. Um, the reason why we've done these changes is to try to be more appealing to kids and to try to um, have them to become collectors. To, because we know kids, they accumulate, they love our cars, they, they love to play with them, but we want to start teaching them early enough uh, how to, or helping them, how to collect. And you know our line has 400 cars every year. That's a lot to tell a kid and a parent to say, hey, go buy 400 cars, collect them all. Not easy, right? Um, so, you know, we used to have the mini segments, the soft segments, in the back of the packaging, in the back of the blister cards, uh, heat fleet or uh, muscle mania, or all these mini segments, now they are gonna be in the front of the packaging. So we are going to be um, talking more about them and making more intuitive for kids. So for you guys, it's a small change, hopefully it doesn't affect anything, uh, but it will help us uh, with collectability and everything. Uh, so you will see today some of the new models that the team is working on and we've worked on uh, for 16. Hopefully you love them. Um, and if you have any questions, you can ask them. Thanks, Lisa. All right, let's get right into it. 2015 Dodge Charger SRT. I just want to say this is one sexy sedan. Yes, four doors. All right, up next we've got our yeah, Chevy. 
The Nova, the Shabby Nova, is one of my favorite already. cars, and I'm sure a lot of you guys know this is the precursor to that, and it's just an amazing casting, amazing that go execution. I love this car, and it's part of our most mania segment, the mini collection. There you go. Right, custom 2001 Acura yeah. Integra GSR. Any JDM fans out there? Yeah, where's our JDM fans? So this... I used to love this in high school, <laughs> and, 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 and we're actually taking that JDM front end and having the square headlights, so it's, uh... <laughs> but yeah, I love this car. Yeah, Integra GSR. I love all the cars. What? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's John Deere on steroids. It is. And actually, one of the coolest things about this car is it's part of our ride-alongs collection. So you can take um, the Lego minifigs or the That's Mega Box and put them on the car. Yeah. So. Yeah, you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Nice. This is the truck fans. Woo. 2017 Ford F-150 Raptor. It does. Yeah, I don't think I need What can you do, though? It's, it just this looks like an awesome. awesome. No, there was already Was it? Yeah! yeah. yeah. No, That's out already. Moon roof on that one. <laughs> That's out already. I know. Oh yeah, so 2016, it's leap year, so this is our Chevelle, and this is going to be a limited run, so keep your eyes out for this one. Very limited run. And of course we have our Chinese New Year cars, and next year is the year of the monkey, and uh, we have this beautiful uh, deco execution. <laughs> Um, on the D-Muscle, and that little uh, logo on there was actually designed by a Kevin Cow with uh, the monkey logo, so it's pretty sweet. Any Mustang fans? There we go. Yeah, um, this was our SEMA car that we were building in partnership with Ford, and now we're making a 164 diecast car of it. So. Nice, there it is. Oh, yeah. 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 A collaboration with Magnus Walker. A lot of you guys know he's, he's pretty famous on Instagram with his uh, customization of um, vintage Porsches or Porsches. So that was this one of his. Um, he actually kind of helped us design the car, um, you know, and the, the graphics, the, the colorways that, that, that he wanted. So this is a uh, very black cool and red. It was awesome. All right, up next for Aston Martin DB10 from the movie Spectre, James Bond. <laughs> the movie comes out next month. Okay. It's a badass DB10. This is the car that June built. He actually, um, he actually has his car. The real car in his uh, garage, so this is uh, his version of his Hot Wheels version of the 240Z. And uh, the same car and the decos will actually be in the game for the, for the Need of Speed game. So you, you, you have that game, uh, I'm not really sure which, um, which version of the game that's coming. And uh, you buy that game, you'll have this car and uh, so you play with it. We will actually have, like I think the game is coming out now in November, um, and we will have three cars. So the other two we are not going to sneak today, so you will need to find out which ones are there. Uh, but uh, they are designed by June and the graphics team, and we are really excited about it. This is a cool one. A cool one. It's called the cool one. Super Mario Rose. Very 
have this one from Batman vs. Superman coming out in uh, March 27th. So if you can get the comic book version, you can get the basics. Oh. <laughs> For a dollar. Right. Point. Yeah, so the Comic-Con version, we're actually going to have um, about 500 of those up on the Hot Wheels Collectors for sale um, in mid-November. So keep going to the site. Okay, so now we have the themes. And these will be in Walmart in April. April. Motorcycle fans? A couple? Alright, for our truck guys. So this assortment's going to be at Walmart beginning in January. January. And it's a whole assortment dedicated to awesome trucks. And here's one of my favorite castings. I want that. Silverado. Yeah! <laughs> Who loves Silverados? Come on. Yes. Alright, so for all of our car enthusiasts out here, we haven't forgotten about you guys. Um, we have a whole premium assortment of car culture. So we'll do about four different things from 2016, and we're going to show a couple for you right now. So this is going to be the next evolution of Heritage. How do you guys like Heritage? Yeah. Yeah. Some really cool, really cool themes next year for car culture. We're going to have Japan Historics. We'll have uh, Euro theme, Track Day and another line of trucks within car culture as well. And these are all die-cast, die-cast, rubber wheels. Yeah. Real riders. Oh, oh dude. Oh, my goodness. No, check out the new wheels we tool for you guys. Wow, for spokes. No, I don't need a special Japan. Whoa. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Finally, oh, the blue Wow. So it'll match your, uh, your basic screen one, but this one, oh, this one's gonna be hot sellers. Whoa! Oh, no, no, that's boy. Is probably one of my favorites. Okay, the seventy one, <laughs> the yellow one, in black. Oh. That's awesome. Police car in three. They've been uh, Euro style. Uh, they mix. Oh, man. Look at that, Joe. Some, uh, BW love for you guys. Oh, that looks nice. And this is a new model that the team has done. You know, generally we do the new models in basics. Um, but for this assortment, we thought we, we want to bring some news and some new tools for you guys. So this is one of the ones that the, the designers, Mark, Mark Jones, has worked on. Oh, they are doing pop culture again. Except pop culture. Right, another great lineup of themes for pop culture in 2016. We'll do Marvel again. We're going to have DC, Star Wars. As you know, as you may know, Star Trek is celebrating a 50th anniversary as well. And we'll have Nestle. So a lot of great stuff coming. Nestle, Star Trek. Yes. So these celebrates our first appearance of Doctor Strange. And using the GMT motorhome. Alright, go straight on the I'm taking notes. He has Ghost Rider with that the motorcycle. And we have the whole gas Spock, it was old Spock. So as I mentioned, Star Trek celebrated 50 years in 2016. Yeah, it was better than the last one. Yeah. 
Be me and Scotty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and those are some of the ones that will be released. We are sneaking three out of the five uh, that are in the assortment, or six. Um, and the packaging is going to be amazing. We haven't put it here, but we will be sneaking it and previewing it in the website very soon. Uh, but it looks really, really good. And this guy here, Julian Collins, is responsible for it, so hopefully you love it. And yeah, we got to show Kirk. Captain Kirk. Captain Kirk. Yeah, the cast is like, yeah, none of the are, without question. All right, character cars. Uh, so character cars have been uh, going strong here for us, and uh, we're going to continue that uh, momentum, uh, um, playing off of the, the upcoming movies um, that are coming out, both from obviously Lucasfilm. We all know the greatly anticipated episode seven. Um, uh, we've got uh, movies coming out from Marvel and DC as well, so we'll be uh, playing off of vehicles from, from those. Um, uh, Captain America, Soldier, and, and uh, um, Batman vs. Superman. So we've got a lot of exciting stuff coming. Uh, let's start first. Okay, so we've got from, from oh, Marvel, we've got the stars Nova coming out. Uh, he's one I've been wanting to do for a while, we now have uh, an opportunity to do that. Yeah, um, uh, so there'll be lots of cool gold VUM on this one, um, and I really wanted to play up on that star uh, shape that he's got on his forehead uh, by executing that as sort of like a flying buttress pillar. It's kind of like what's on the new Ford GT um, uh, Super Pod. And then of course the Riddler, classic favorite um, villain. Um, so, yeah, we had a lot of fun with this one. We wanted to sort of, you know, really uh, capture the, the look of his uh, derby hat, but, but in a, not in that too literal way. You know? so, so we really tried to streamline that, uh, really have a lot of fun with it. That's the fun thing about these. We, we can have fun with them. You, um, we try to um, strive for a level of automotive authenticity, but still, like, have a little whimsical attitude in there. So, uh, you see the the uh, trademark sort of push mark logo that he has uh, executed as the hood ornament on the car. All right, and then uh, for Star Wars. So as you know, we've already launched a, a few of our Episode Seven cars. Uh, some of you may have those already: Captain Phasma, um, Kylo Ren, the First Order Stormtrooper, and uh, it's uh, BB-8. All right, so. Uh, this is, uh, of course, we'll be continuing with more Episode 7 uh, cars as, as the year goes on. So, uh, this is a sneak peek at Ray, one of the lead heroes in that movie. So, uh, the challenge on, on Episode 7, of course, is that, uh, you know, we had very little information on the characters early on. So, um, you know, we have to be creative about how we, how we uh, interpret the character and understand who they're going to be you know, as, as we learn more. But, uh, yeah, we had a lot of fun with these. <laughs> okay. All right. This is a sneak peek at a couple of really cool models coming up on the collector's site, beginning with... What the fuck? Um, so, I don't see. These are going to be two sneaks that we are going to do for 2015, so it's this year line. Sorry, what? I didn't hear you. What? Um, so we are going to have the Captain America celebration. Next year is the 75th anniversary, so we are going to be uh, doing a few things with Captain America. And one of the first things is in our very own Red Line Club line. Um, and then I bet you know about this one, but we are really excited about it. Is this to the Wake the Champ? Uh, and it's another of the versions of the 2015 RLC line. Well, it, we have three one-offs in 2015 that are going to be with this case, um, acrylic case package and the packaging on top. So hopefully you love them as much as we do. Um, and then, yes, yes, well done. And then uh, I'm sure 
Robert, we'll talk about this in a second as soon as I let him because I'm here monopolizing the microphone. But uh, 2016 is coming up really soon, so we have new news for you on the 2016 Red Line Club line. Um, we are going to be moving where we source the products, where we manufacture the product. We are going to be going back to the real Spectra Flame that you all love. Do we love that? So we have some snakes for you today, so we are all excited about it. All right, so in 2016, we're going to do four Neo Classics and four Real Riders, so you'll have your eight subscription cards. And this is an early look at four of those models. Is that really the custom nerve unit you're going to use? What about this? So we'll have three membership cars for 2016, 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser. I think everyone's pretty excited about this one. What year? 2016. All right, how'd you guys like the line? Model in the retro entertainment line. So from the Batman vs Superman movie, um, there's the car that you've seen, and then there's another vehicle. So we are gonna be having that in Daika Saikas for that line, um, and then we are gonna be um, revamping or refreshing some of the evergreen uh, properties or cars that you guys love. Uh, so we are gonna be bringing back some of those things. So hopefully an exciting line for 16. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you.